Okay, we need to look at how we handle bills in QuickBooks. Over here in the vendors section of the home page, you have an enter bills. And from here, you can actually enter bills that you receive. If you did receive a bill from, uh, for example, Office Warehouse, and that was for some supplies that you had purchased on account, So we would then need to go and select what account that needs to go into. We would choose office supplies expense there. Um, that's just some miscellaneous supplies that we have purchased that will be immediately used up. And then we, we will click save and close. Uh, another way to enter bills is when we are ordering our inventory from our vendors. Okay. So if we have some items ordered, we would first create the purchase order. We create the purchase order and we are going to purchase some of our some of our inventory from cycle wholesalers. So we're going to select the Aviator Blue bicycle and we're going to get two of those and we are going to order a Schwinn and we'll, we will get three of those and then we need to order a specialized and we will get one of those okay so notice then your total is already calculated for you we hit save and close now once that inventory is received we can click on receive inventory receive this receives the inventory that have that has arrived with a bill or without a bill Okay, so that's going to increase your inventory account and it's also going to in, uh, create a bill. Um, so we're going to click receive inventory. We are going to say we got it with a bill. So we click on the vendor drop down and we choose cycle wholesalers because that's who we have a PO with. Notice it says open POs exist for this vendor. So we're going to click yes. We're going to receive against one of these orders. So we have one order there from Cycle Wholesalers and we click OK. And it comes up with all of our inventory items. Um, so when we are ready to enter that bill, we will click save and close and just make sure that all the information is correct. Okay, so after you have entered bills, uh, you would then need to pay bills at some point in time. So we're going to click on the pay bills button and notice it shows all of the bills that we have entered, which was only two in this case. Um, so if we can choose to uh, pay one bill or we can choose to pay several bills. So we select the bills that we want to pay. Uh, notice that if we did have a discount, we could hit set discount there. Um, and then we choose how we're going to pay, make sure the date of the payment is correct, and make sure that you are paying from your checking account, Citibank checking. So we're going to click Pay Selected Bills. And then it comes up and you can either print the checks or you can click Done. And that is how you will enter bills uh, and then also receive inventory um, from a PO and create a bill from a PO and then pay those bills. Let's see what that looks like in the check register. So I click on the check register button and notice that I have an, a new entry for Cycle Wholesalers here for $344.97 and another entry here for Office Warehouse for the supplies of $100.